What's going on guys and welcome to the next Forza Thon event for Motorsport 7. In this short video we have three easy prizes out for this week and I'm going to be showing you how I personally received every one of them. In the first one we're going to take a look at the Delta S4 and we'll need to win two races in our Rally Heroes Division vehicle. So let's jump into free play mode and the vehicle selection is pretty small. But I decided to go with the Audi Quattro out of the rental car area. As for track settings any location will work. However, you need to set it to a timed race for 30 seconds. Just make sure to run these back to back to claim your reward. The next prize on the list will be some driver gear, and you'll need to win a race on the full circuit of Watkins Glen while using a sports luxury division vehicle. My weapon of choice was the 2012 BMW M5 out of the rental car area, and as for track settings, I would set up another timed race for 30 seconds to move on to the next objective. However, I want you to press the restart button after you finish the race. For the last objective with the driver gear, you need to complete a race while using an early sports luxury vehicle. All you need to do is grab one of the vehicles out of the lineup, which I went with the older 2003 BMW M5 to keep with the theme. If you left all the other track settings correct other than the car division, then you'll knock this out in 30 seconds. For the last prize, you have a chance to win the Q50 El Rouge, and you'll need to complete three laps on the Daytona sports car circuit while in a hypercar. This area means you can take one of the highest vehicles to hit the pavement, and I went with the McLaren P1 GTR. The track settings is pretty straightforward. You have to run all three laps while on the sports car circuit of Daytona to move on to the next challenge. For the second objective, you need to complete a race at the Circuit of the Americas while using a Rise of the Supercar vehicle. There's quite a few legends in the car list, but I couldn't pass up using the Ferrari F40. As for track settings, you just need to run another 30 second timed race on any of the layouts of Coda. For the final challenge, you need to win a race on the full alternate layout of Suzuka while using a Sports GT vehicle. The vehicle list in this area is massive, and I went with a brand new Porsche 911 GT3 RS that just came out in the July update. Now for track settings, it'll be the same like most of the video, which will be a timed race for 30 seconds. Just make sure you selected the alternate layout of the full circuit. Well, that pretty much wraps up everything that you need to know in this Forza Thon event in Motorsport 7. From here, I hope you found this pretty useful, and I'll see you next time.